Okay, here we are at the Maple Leaf Passive House. It's a beautiful day at the end of June. Uh, sunny blue skies, it's really exciting. 80 something degrees today. You might notice it's pretty shady here though. So we're building a passive house in the shade. We're not going with our annual heating demand. We're go with going the, the, uh, the, the, the heat load on the coldest day of the year. So um, partially because we're so shady here. So we, we can't really utilize the so uh, exposure, the solar exposure. But um, it's, it's a really great project. Um, the owner really wanted to do a passive house and he really wanted a traditional built, uh, more traditional architecture. So a lot of the passive buildings you see around have kind of a very contemporary or modern look to them. Um, but he really was, he was very specific. He's like, no, I want something that looks like a traditional house in the neighborhood. It's, it's the Maple Leaf neighborhood. It's been here for many decades. And uh, he just wants something that, uh, that looks, looks, looks like the neighbor's houses. We can build a passive building to whatever look you want to do. Um, if it gets more complex of an envelope with all uh, uh, dormers and bump outs, then it becomes more of a complex envelope. But what it looks like is purely up to the client. Hi, my name is Steve Zilke and I am the site lead for Hammer in Hand for the Maple Leaf Passive House. And we're here today to talk about um, some of the uh, Passive House foundation details that we're getting involved in here. Um, you can see here in the photo that we have the uh, 8 inch structurally rated uh, EPS geofoam and that's our under slab insulation. There's also an 8 inch by 8 inch uh, EPS block that that's our thermal bridge for the edge of the slab. And then on top of it, you can see our 15 mil um, air and vapor uh, 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 barrier. That product will be wrapped up and taped up along the wall um, using a primer and a tape. That kind of gets our, our air seal between the outside and the house. And then on top of that, we'll be installing two layers of four inch EPS um, uh, rigid insulation. Um, also when we get to the uh, mud sill and uh, foundation wall interface we'll be going through our wet flash uh, sealant um, protocol with the uh, Prosoco Cat5 uh, product series and, uh, and then that will continue up the outside of the, of the uh, wood frame. Here we're inside the uh, Maple Leaf residence. You can see the exposed architectural concrete um, uh, foundation finishes these will be exposed when the project is complete, hence the exterior insulation that I talked about earlier. Um, right now, the uh, guys are framing the uh, basement pony walls and uh, interior partitions for the bathroom um, down on this level. And uh, we'll be squaring those up today. And then the next step, uh, we'll be building the first floor uh, diaphragm, TGIs and, and beams, etc.